Hansior van Lind. Team number nine. Thank you very much. And now for something completely different. Um, where's the button? There it is. Uh, my team is not complete. Um, Guido van Leersum is in the audience. Um, Kees Kudak is currently teaching in Shanghai. Randal Le Suffer is teaching currently in Lisbon. And I think this exemplifies our proposal. Um, in today's world, everyone is linked in uh, one way or another with everyone else, both online, offline, but there's now hardly any place in the world that is not connected, cross-linked and oriented towards other places. Interconnectedness sometimes results in counter movements, as we all know. Resistance to globalization has become a policy theme in various elections, as you all well know, in the US, UK, and many other countries, as you can imagine. But interdependencies will be influenced by the changing pin code of our world population. I will come back to that in a few moments. Economic and political power will shift. Globalization and increasing international integration are affecting the whole of society and are inextricable linked to the contemporary social issues and wicked problems that we study and research at our own in institution. This contribution is about how we would, could reinforce our ties with the world, and we believe it is time to strengthen our international outlook and add a new dimension to our existing models, a new dimension of international collaboration. Understanding society is understanding the world. Understanding society is understanding the world. The increased connectivity and the resulting complexity of the world leads to new areas of research. As you all know, it requires new methodology and multidisciplinary approaches of teaching and research. But that will do not the trick. We need to become more firmly rooted in other parts of the world. We need to engage in strong and true partnerships. Looking ahead, beyond our region, an enormous growth in population takes place in Asia, Africa, South America. I refer to the PIN code. 1114 is, is currently. One billion people in Europe, one billion in, in the Americas, one billion in Africa, and four million billion in Asia. It will change in the next decades to one one to five, two billion in Africa, five in Asia. These countries in these regions will further transition to a knowledge-based economy. Universities in these countries rapidly expand out or expand up. Universities are moving from the periphery to the center of global production of knowledge. And a challenge of our institution, the challenge of Tilburg University is to become firmly rooted and connected with these parts of the world, because competition will be fierce. So we should not move to Breda or Dordrecht. No, we suggest to start world colleges with partner institutions in Shanghai, Accra, Bogota, and in Tilburg. Our Tilburg research and education activities will be complemented, and I stress complemented by colleges and board, adding new perspectives. We will team up with universities with a similar profile and with an ambitious agenda to collaborate. And of course, the nature of engagement will differ per location and also differ per time. But always with the fundamental principle that there is an added value for all participants. Added value for all participants. Jointly, we will set up and execute programs in research and education, and I summed up as several um, examples. For instance, a foundation year to prepare students to enroll in our international bachelor programs here in Tilburg, extended master program uh, semesters for, uh, for, to provide students the possibility to learn, live, and interact with international students to be effective and more proficient in different cultural settings. Short executive programs and so forth and so forth. Also on the research side, 
um, there are many possibilities. Imagine the external funding possibilities with these uh, world colleges, joint PhD programs, etc., etc. So, our proposal for the next one, two, three. Ora F. I have one minute. Watch the clock, please. I have, I have one minute for every slide, so our world colleges will develop in partnership, like, like I stressed before, with similar local universities with research ambitions. Think beyond the current mode of collaboration. Um, and there are many examples in the world, many examples where very prestigious institutions in Europe and in the US team up with institutions, the same sort of institutions in South Africa, in Africa and Asia, to provide teaching and research in these countries um, and turn them into a centers of excellence um, and to become it as a full member of our community. Um, and at last, to increase our quality, reputation and competitiveness worldwide. This is our route to become connected with new emerging parts of the world. Understanding society means understanding the world, connect to the world with a new model of collaboration. Thank you very much.